Neural networks are at the heart of many modern AI systems. They are used in various applications from image recognition to natural language processing. Understanding neural networks is crucial for anyone looking to delve into the world of artificial intelligence. A neural network is a series of algorithms that attempt to recognize underlying relationships in data through a process that mimics the way the human brain operates. Neural networks are made up of layers of nodes, with each node representing a neuron. The simplest form of a neural network is a single-layer perceptron. When multiple layers are stacked together, it forms a multi-layer perceptron. This structure allows neural networks to solve complex problems by learning from data. Learning about neural networks can be overwhelming at first, but breaking down the components and understanding their functions makes it easier. In this essay, we will explore the basics and delve into more advanced concepts step by step. The perceptron is the simplest form of a neural network. It is essentially a linear classifier. Introduced by Frank Rosenblatt in 1958, the perceptron has one input layer and one output layer. A perceptron works by taking multiple inputs, applying weights to them, and passing them through an activation function to produce an output. The activation function determines if a neuron should be activated, similar to firing a signal in the brain. The primary task of a perceptron is to classify input data into one of two categories. It adjusts its weights based on errors in classification learning over time. Despite its simplicity, the perceptron is powerful for linear, separable data. However, the perceptron has limitations. It cannot solve problems that are not linearly separable, like the XOR problem. This limitation led to the development of more complex models like multi-layer perceptrons. Multi-layer perceptrons, or MLPs, overcome the limitations of single-layer perceptrons. They consist of an input layer, multiple hidden layers, and an output layer. Each layer contains neurons that apply weights and activation functions. The addition of hidden layers enables MLPs to solve non-linear problems. These networks can learn complex patterns in data, making them suitable for tasks such as speech and image recognition. Training MMLPs involves adjusting weights through learning algorithms. One common learning algorithm is backpropagation, which we'll explore later. MLPs use this algorithm to minimize errors by propagating them backward through the network. This process adjusts the weights to improve accuracy. MLPs are a foundational element in deep learning. They demonstrate how stacking layers and increasing complexity can enhance the network's ability to learn and make predictions. Understanding MLPs is key to grasping more advanced neural network architectures. Activation functions play a crucial role in neural networks. Three common activation functions are ReLU, Sigmoid and Softmax. ReLU is widely used due to its simplicity and effectiveness. Sigmoid outputs values between 0 and 1, useful for binary classification. Softmax is used in the output layer for multi-class classification problems. It converts scores into probabilities, making predictions easier to interpret. Section 5. Training Neural Networks Backpropagation. Training a neural network involves adjusting its weights to minimize errors. Backpropagation is a key algorithm used for this purpose. It calculates the gradient of the loss function with respect to each weight by the chain rule, propagating errors backward. Backpropagation works by first performing a forward pass through the network to compute the output. The error is then calculated by comparing the predicted output to the actual target. This error is propagated backward through the network to update weights. The weight updates are made using the gradients calculated during backpropagation. This process iteratively reduces the error, improving the network's predictions. Backpropagation is computationally efficient, making it suitable for training deep networks. While backpropagation is powerful, it can suffer from issues like vanishing gradients, especially in deep networks. Understanding and applying backpropagation effectively is crucial for successful neural network training. Section 6. Stochastic Gradient Descent Efficient Optimization Stochastic Gradient Descent, or SGD, is an optimization technique used to train neural networks. Unlike traditional gradient descent, which uses the entire dataset to compute gradients, SGD updates weights using a single or a small batch of data points. SGD is computationally efficient and helps in faster convergence, 
It introduces noise into the optimization process, which can help escape local minima and find better solutions. However, it can also lead to fluctuations in the loss function. To balance the trade-offs, a variant called mini-batch gradient descent is often used. It updates weights using small batches of data, combining the benefits of both traditional gradient descent and SGD. SGD and its variants are essential tools for training deep neural networks. They enable efficient optimization, allowing networks to learn complex patterns in large datasets. Mastering SGD is key to improving the performance of your neural networks. Overfitting and regularization L1 and L2. Overfitting occurs when a model learns the training data too well, leading to poor generalization. Regularization techniques like L1 and L2 mitigate overfitting. L1 regularization, or lasso, adds the absolute value of weights to the loss function. L2 regularization, or ridge, adds the squared value of weights. Combining L1 and L2, known as elastic net, leverages both techniques for robust models. Section 8, Convolutional Neural Networks or CNNs. Convolutional neural networks are specialized neural networks designed for processing structured grid data, such as images. They use convolutional layers to extract features and patterns from input data. A CNN consists of multiple layers, including convolutional layers, pooling layers, and fully connected layers. Convolutional layers apply filters to the input, detecting features like edges and textures. Pooling layers reduce the dimensionality, retaining important information while reducing computation. CNNs are particularly effective in image recognition tasks, where they can learn hierarchical representations. Early layers may detect simple features, while deeper layers capture more complex patterns. This makes CNNs powerful for applications like object detection and image classification. Training CNNs involves the same principles as other neural networks, using backpropagation and optimization techniques. Understanding the architecture and training process of CNNs is essential for leveraging their capabilities in computer vision tasks. Section 9, Recurrent Neural Networks, or RNNs, LSTMs and GRUs. Recurrent neural networks are designed for sequential data, such as time series or natural language. They have loops within their architecture, allowing information to persist and enabling the network to learn temporal dependencies. However, RNNs suffer from issues like vanishing gradients, hindering their ability to learn long-term dependencies. Long, short-term memory networks, or LSTMs, address this by introducing gates that control the flow of information, effectively capturing long-term dependencies. Gated recurrent units, or GRUs, are a simplified version of LSTMs using fewer gates while retaining similar performance. They are computationally efficient and easier to train, making them a popular choice for sequence modeling tasks. RNNs, LSTMs and GRUs are powerful tools for tasks like language modeling, machine translation and speech recognition. Understanding their architectures and training methods is crucial for working with sequential data. Section 10. Transformer Networks and Self-Attention Mechanisms Transformer networks represent a significant advancement in deep learning, particularly for natural language processing. Unlike RNNs, transformers do not rely on sequential data processing, enabling parallelization and faster training. The core component of transformers is the self-attention mechanism. It allows the network to weigh the importance of different parts of the input sequence, capturing dependencies regardless of their distance. This makes transformers highly effective for tasks like translation and text generation. The transformer architecture consists of encoder and decoder layers, each with self-attention and feed-forward networks. The encoder processes the input sequence, while the decoder generates the output sequence, attending to relevant parts of the input. Transformers have revolutionized natural language processing, leading to state-of-the-art models like BERT and GPT. Understanding the principles of self-attention and the transformer architecture is key to leveraging their capabilities in various AI applications. Section 11, Frameworks and Tools. TensorFlow, PyTorch, Kira's Automail Transfer Learning. TensorFlow and PyTorch are popular frameworks for building complex models. TensorFlow by Google supports tasks from research to production. 
Kira's, its high-level API, simplifies model development. PyTorch by Facebook is favored for its dynamic computation graph. AutoML tools automate model selection and tuning. Transfer Learning uses pre-trained models to improve performance and reduce training time.